I don't like placing it here. I think that's a bad idea. Let's do it. I should not have wasted my C4. That was a bad idea. I should have used it a little bit later. Actually, it was a great idea. Look at this. I've gotten so many chests here. Bro, look at this. This is entire room just with these chests. It seems the delivery guys didn't make it to the fair. You have found the key in a pocket. Let's take the key and now we'll be able to probably open up that box. Okay, okay. So this is definitely a new event. I have not seen that before. Let's open it up now. Yo, guys, it is me, Episodic, and welcome back to another video of Last in Earth Survival. So just as usual, we're gonna start off this video with doing another tournament because season eight here is not gonna last forever there are only like what 11 days left and these tournaments these fair locations and whatever are just gonna disappear so while we have the time while it's still here i thought that it would be really nice to do this tournament every day and plus these tournaments last for one hour so honestly i just want to start this tournament and then at the end of the video we're actually gonna start grinding it a little bit harder so for those who didn't know right now i have to kill like these three dusty runners in any limestone location we're gonna start the tournament and I think as soon as it's gonna start, I'm gonna leave this location to the fair location because there's lots of and lots of stuff to do at that fair location. And honestly, you don't really have to grind these tournaments super hard. But again, I've heard even more people now saying that in the first like five or something minutes, there are some people getting like 180 points or whatever. And I still have not experienced that myself. So who knows? This is gonna be a second dusty runner. And if I'm not mistaken, you can get 10 dusty runners per one location. So that should be pretty easy. But also some of you told me that you don't really even have to start killing lots of these dusty runners and you don't have to get lots of the points so some of you have this strategy that that for the first 40 minutes or something you don't get any points and this way other players here most likely bots are not gonna get here lots of points as well so who knows probably that's what i'm gonna try to do so even we are now in this red location i'm not gonna be killing a single bot here so let's open up the tournament so these are the guys that we'll have to go up against and uh, yeah i mean we're just gonna stop it now i'm gonna exit this place and i'm not gonna be getting a single point here because again we have rations so just in case i'm gonna use a couple of rations at the end of the tournament here if i'm not gonna have enough time to get it the first place but again you can get like 10 points per one red location so it should be like really easy peasy lemon squeezy it's gonna take less than 10 minutes to grind like one red location and i'm just gonna keep traveling from like orange back to red location and yeah we'll get lots of and lots of points i just want to see if that strategy that you guys are telling me is actually working but at the same time there are like two different types of people for some people tournaments are really easy for some people tournaments are just insanely hard like as i said some people were going up against like 180 points just in the first like 10 minutes or something i'm not really sure what tournament was that but i've seen a few people saying that so who knows probably that's the truth so we'll see maybe the same thing is gonna happen here with us today maybe yes maybe no but all i know is that we're gonna get back to the fair location also a lot of you left me a couple of tips here on how to do like this turkey event so we're gonna try that turkey event out a little bit later but first of all i gotta destroy those piñatas baby i brought here with me one more baseball bat so let's deal with those because i still want to get a couple of points with travis here and also a lot of you told me that it's going to be possible to get the full reputation here with travis because some of you told me wait we're going to deal with this i'm going to open up the reputation and you told me that you're already like honored with travis or you said that you're like almost honored or whatever so it just means that you have to keep doing all of these daily events every day like you have to come here to this location every single day and help out travis and this way you'll be able to get all the points so that is super cool congratulations to all of those who are going to be able to get to review so we destroyed all these piñatas. Did I get any points? Like... We almost not getting any points, but yeah, if you're gonna keep doing it every day, you'll be able to get them. So while we are here, did I bring any tickets? Okay, so I forgot to bring tickets with me to, uh, from the base, but I think I'll have enough tickets from the booth. Where is that booth, baby? So this is gonna be the tickets. Uh, let's take those tickets, and I think I'm gonna put place a couple of bets here again. We're gonna place those bets on her. Let's go. And I don't have. Oh no, I do have a spread shot. And again, last time spread shot actually worked, but this time spread shot. I don't think spread shot is gonna work. Wait, I'm gonna take the spread shot here. Will she be able to deal with this? This place okay so i didn't see if she healed out once or twice will i be able to help her out i think i'll be just able to spread shot her okay so i think these guys are just gonna come out now nah, my spread shot isn't gonna work like i am sure about it like i am 100 percent sure is she gonna heal so here go she just healed up once again and there is no way she'll be able to stay one more wave I've just gotten some more reputation with Travis. Very nice. So we're going to do one more wave. And as I said already, I'm not really a huge fan here of these tournaments because, again, it's completely random. Like, would be really nice, you know, if developers added here some sort of a mini game where you have to, like, quickly tap some sort of buttons, you know, or whatever to help her out, like, to cheer her or something like click up, click down or whatever so that you would at least somehow, some way interact with that. I think we're going to click on this. Boom. I think it should be done because she has 52 health and she did not use another bandage. So probably she used all the bandage. 
advantages? Maybe yes, maybe no. But yeah, as I said, it would be really cool if we if we could like help them out somehow, some way. Like we would have to like do some sort of quick action mini game event here, and uh, it would be a lot more interesting. And at least it would be somehow, some way like skill dependent rather than just like completely random and looking at how she should scare these guys. So. I don't know, but that's just my opinion. I definitely think that this event could have been better. But this uh, fair location definitely has some great... Can I just... That's it. She's dead. I helped her out. I helped her out with the spread shot. <laughs> that worked. That worked. Very nice. I have no idea how she did not die. Where did she get like that another bandage from? But that is so cool. So let me take all of my tickets. 35 tickets from the booth. Uh, let's check my reputation. We're still not friendly even. And for some reason, the dirt only spawned once. So this dirt spawned at the first week. And uh, you got points for Travis and then the dirt that spawned on the second week that those reputation points went to Hannah. Also, I'm gonna go here to the fortune teller. Let's get this. Clean stroke will allow getting you more pine logs. Wait, is it all the time the same stuff? Uh, find the missing part. The order of destiny has been broken. Find the missing part in limestone spires. What? What? So we're gonna go to limestone spires probably like right now. A sudden illumination increasing. Let's go guys to limestone spires. We're gonna come back here once again, but I just want to know what's that. I know I want to know what's that. We're also gonna do like that uh, zombie like bull corita or whatever. I'm also gonna start catching those turkeys because I think like zombie corita is fun and catching turkeys is really really fun as well. So we gotta go to limestone spires, limestone cliffs, and these are gonna be limestone spires. So let's go over there. Hopefully I'm not gonna encounter a single dusty runner or something because as I said i'm gonna try my best here to not get any points for the first like 30 or something minutes maybe even longer but even then again for me they are not really getting many points so i don't think it matters or it affects these bots if you are gonna be getting points or if you're not gonna be getting points i don't know but again i just want to try it out so i'm gonna hop to this location and i'm just interested is it gonna be just another like same a secret stash place where you can get like some items and that's it I don't know. I don't know where we're gonna deal with this toxic spitter and I'm just gonna run quickly around this location Maybe I'll get like some sort of a chest or whatever that thing was because we have to restore like some sort of an order or whatever And I don't even know. okay, so somebody's already gotten some points So probably I'll have to start killing those dusty runners and that's yeah I'm gonna kill a couple of these dusty runners. I don't think it really matters. I really don't think it matters Look at this. We've gotten already guys three dusty runners just like that. Wow I'm gonna get rid of this baseball bat just to save it for those pinatas and so far I don't see any else in this limestone spires location i assume that this is just gonna be another digging event where i have to dig that treasure out and that's it but i mean we'll see because she said something else because last time she said that actually there's gonna be a treasure or whatever this time she didn't say the same sentence she said that there's like some sort of about world order or whatever i don't know did i get anything in my temporary buffs okay so just experience and more pine logs that's it didn't get anything else so a couple of more dusty runners just another chest and i don't see what did she want me to do? I don't get it. Bunch of stones, yes. And zero chests. Is that a chest? No, this is just a simple chest. I'm gonna loot it, but it's not that. It's not that. What did she want me to do? Like, what is that? What was her quest? Well, I'm just gonna quickly double check this location one more time, and maybe I'll find something which I kind of doubt at this point now. Either she lied to me, or I misunderstood and I went here to a different location, which I don't think that I misunderstood. I'm pretty sure she said limestone spires. Okay, so this is like some sort of a reinforced chest, but I'm pretty sure this is not a special chest or whatever. This is just a simple simple chest like for sure. You can see a lock on the chest. The key must be kept by the one who was carrying the chest. So this is just another simple picnic thingy. Oh, there's the guy. What is going on? This is something new. It's not worth it. Find the key on my co- Find the key on my co-worker. So I assume that there is going to be a dead body here and I have to find the key on his dead body. Or did he give me the key? I don't know. So, wow, yes, what, why is this chest the same, like, why is this chest exactly the same, why didn't it look different, I don't get it, I think maybe some people are actually gonna miss it, I think some people will actually miss this chest, I don't think I'm the only one who's gonna be like, oh, is this a special chest, whatever, so now we have to find some sort of a, uh, some sort of his co-worker's body, yes, no, D is that what he told me, because it was so quick, I did not even have enough time to read it, I mean, there is another, like, that picnic thingy that I've looted, but there was nothing there, oh, here we go, there is a dead body. Let's get this. It seems that delivery guys 
didn't make it to the fair. You have found the key in a pocket. Let's take the key and now we'll be able to probably open up that box. Okay, okay, so this is definitely a new event. I have not seen that before. Let's open it up now. And again, I assume that we're just gonna get a couple of metal scraps or something. I don't think we'll get any. 50 tickets, okay. So that's like, what, two bandages here. So 50 tickets equal to two bandages. Pretty nice. <laughs> Pretty nice, obviously, that's a joke. But who knows? Maybe those tickets are gonna be really worth it at the end of like this season when week three is gonna start and we'll be able to use like that slot spinning machine. I don't know. But that was a fun event. Like, I mean, regardless if the loot was worth it or not, like, I mean, for 50 tickets, I don't think it was like very worth it, to be honest. I mean, that's like what? That's gonna be like a fourth spot on this tournament, which isn't that hard to get or like whatever. So, I mean, 50 tickets wasn't that much, but at least that was kind of an interesting event. It wasn't something lame. So I still don't think that there is gonna be like that special group performing here. I don't think they are here. Okay, so I think they're gonna start gathering maybe in about an hour or whatever. Maybe we'll be able to even see them today for the first time ever. So we're gonna do now this. So now we're gonna do like this a bull Corrida event, even though do I really have to do it? I mean, I'm not gonna get any points with Travis. I think we're not gonna be actually doing it because I'm kind of getting, it's not like I'm getting annoyed by this bull Corrida event, but uh, I mean, it lasts forever and a little bit. That's what I have to say. And I don't think I'm gonna be getting full reputation here with Travis anyways, because I missed a bunch of and bunch of events. And I don't think there are any more tasks uh, that require me to do like this bull Corrida event. So I think this is gonna be my last bull Corrida. Can I like shoot this bull for the memes? Oh yeah, I can definitely do a little bit of damage to him, but the event still is not gonna end as long as the bull is alive. Well, that's it. We've done like this bull Corrida event. Let's take a couple of tickets for, I mean, we're getting 20 tickets, but is it really fun? I mean, as always, we can just use this snap transition. I'm so stupid. Well, that's it. We're done with all the bulls here and I'm kind of stinking. So should I do another snap transition to go and take a shower at the base? Yeah, let's just do it. So we are back over here. Shower is taken. Everything is nice. We'll be able to start catching these turkeys really, really soon. But before this, I want to go and do this another lame event because I don't like it. Most of the time you just lose here and you don't see what's going on. So, so far, this probably is the lamest event in this fair location. But I mean, we'll have to wait for the season three, maybe not for the season three, but for the week three, maybe on week three, there's going to be even worse event. So I'm going to bet here we go for this guy because I think we'll be able to get like 80 tickets if that guy wins. But I kind of doubt that he's going to win. I mean, look at this. He's second and uh, does he is he gonna win? I mean, no, 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 the second guy is gonna win now and that's it So here the second one the fourth guy came second and that's it and I didn't win anything So I'm gonna check the tickets nothing inside of the booth So do I get bet for the first guy because I don't think it really matters I mean all of that is just completely random again I'm just gonna keep betting for the last one because maybe I'm gonna be able to win like those 80 tickets so maybe that's why it's worth it to bet for the other guy. But again, it would be really nice to share like your turkey or something. If you would have to like click here or something like really like quick timed events or whatever, I think that would be great as well. So here go fourth, second. Again, we did not win. And I'm gonna bet for this guy here once again. But I still keep getting reputation with Hannah. So hey, that's cool as well. Even though I don't kind of care if we're gonna be revered here or not. But that's still pretty cool to get some reputation. And here we go. That fourth turkey is gonna be the last. I don't really think that fourth turkey is ever gonna win. Here we go. I lost all I had. I lost everything. Everything. That's it. So we're gonna get out of this place and I also think that maybe today we're gonna like pay extra 50 coins to do another one of those like uh, fortune teller events. Maybe we'll get something else or maybe we'll just go for the raid. I don't know. But all I know now is that we're gonna start here this one more event because a lot of you told me that Cyric, why you're punching that big turkey? Whatever. Don't punch him. Just collect the turkey. So that's what I'm gonna try to do. So maybe you don't even have to punch that big other turkey. So here we go. I'm just gonna punch that and I'm gonna start collecting them. So I'm just literally gonna spam like these two buttons and that's it. I'm just literally spamming a I can pick up and that's it. That's all I'm doing. So five of them, six of them, seven of them. Boom. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. And here we go. One more turkey. Just punched and picked it up. Very nice. So this was very easy because that other big guy did not spawn here. So that's why it was easy. But I think that when he's going to spawn, he'll have some more troubles because that's why I tried to kill him last time. Or maybe I didn't really pay attention that much. Maybe I don't have to kill him because basically all of you guys told me to not kill that big guy. So, I mean, we'll see. So here we go. That big guy didn't spawn again. So wait, I'm not even going to be able to see the big guy to test him out. Okay, so you just punch him once and then you just run after that turkey. Here we go. You you attack once and then you like spam that pickup button. Okay. So that's it. Seven, eight turkeys. Uh, probably this is going to be the ninth turkey and that's it. Why there's like this other guy there? What is that other guy doing? I don't get it. Is he helping me out or is he annoying me? I don't know how how would I know this? Okay, so there's one more dirt pile that I could probably repair, but I don't have my pickaxe and I don't have my axe or whatever, so I'm not gonna be able to do it. So let's go for one more wave. And now maybe that big turkey is gonna spawn here, please. Here, here, the big turkey have spawned. So will I be able to pick them up? Uh, so here we go, two. Here we 
secure go. This is gonna be the third turkey. Not third. Where is the third secure go? Three turkeys. Spamming to pick up four turkeys. This is gonna be the five turkeys. Six turkeys. And the seven turkeys. Please, here go. Seven turkeys. So you can actually pick that up if you're not gonna be fighting like this big turkey. But I mean, it's kind of annoying. He's still kind of a little bit annoying. I mean, I could barely get seven out of seven turkeys. So I think sometimes you'll get only six, but I mean, it's not that hard. I mean, I'm gonna do it one more time because so far this is like one of my most favorite events. Okay, so Katara does 35 damage, my machete does 36. So I'm gonna take my machete just to like kill that turkey quickly. Maybe I, I don't need a gun there. Or maybe I even can take a shotgun. I think with shotgun, it will be easier and faster than with machete. I mean, or we can use a machete, doesn't matter. Let's take a machete. I'm gonna start one more turkey event because as I said, I really, really, really like it let's go over here uh here we go i want to kill the big guy no the big guy here we go we're gonna do like this and now i think it will be a lot easier can i like punch it and pick it up why that turkey not why can't i catch it here we go just like this just like pick it up pick it up god dang us that's it i fell i think i fell this event here we go five seven and he just picked up some more turkeys so fighting that big turkey with machete i mean sometimes you're gonna miss it so it's not that good plus there's this other dude that's annoying you so much because he tries to catch those turkeys as well i can just spit on this guy but I'm gonna do here we go one more time. So apparently you don't have to bother about that big turkey. I mean, you just punch them and you start picking those turkeys up. So here we go. You just punch them once and you just start collecting the turkeys. And that's it. Is that is that what's up? Is that what you gotta do? Here we go. Another turkey. Six of them. This is gonna be seven turkeys. That's it. You won. So yeah, probably you don't even have to, guys, attack that big guy. So can I can I pick up that turkey? So here we go. I just picked it up. Sometimes it lags. Sometimes that turkey stays there. Sometimes it disappears. I don't get it why. But it looks like you don't have to fight that big turkey. Go to sleep stupid turkey <laughs> well next time i'm just gonna try to do the same strategy but with my shotgun here once again i'm gonna run over here the big turkey is gonna spawn here i'm gonna put him down to sleep so can you attack those turkeys quicker here go attack spamming spamming here go another turkey Atta can you please pick up a bit faster here go another turkey five this is gonna be like six and this is gonna be seven turkeys that's eight turkeys and that's nine turkeys so sometimes it's gonna be fine if you're just gonna wait properly to attack like that big turkey once and you'll be able to kill him and that's it i want to do this event one more time don't judge me i like this event this is a very nice event that's that's the only thing that's interests me i want to go one more time so i want to hop over here that big turkey didn't even spawn so hey that should be like really easy peasy i just like fighting that big turkey and coming up with something cooler and i mean it's fun it's the most fun thing so far that we have in Season 8. So let me enjoy it because they will remove those turkeys. <laughs> and that's it. We're not going to have them. But imagine how lame this event would be, you know, if you have to bet and guess if this guy will be able to take 8 turkeys or not. Or, I mean, 7 turkeys, not 8. So this is one of the best events, as I said, because you have to actually do here something yourself. It's not just betting and looking and just hoping for the best. So I'm going to do it. Oh, I have two more tries. I thought there was only one more try left. So I'm going to take my shotgun. going to go over here. Here go that big turkey have just spawned. So that's it. I've just killed him. Maybe you can even use like your machete or something. But hey, I don't have machete. I have a shotgun. Ain't some sort of a pleb to use a machete. <laughs> Let's use a shotgun. Can I pick that up for this is going to be a fifth turkey. This is going to be a sixth turkey a sixth turkey baby and this is a seventh turkey that's it eight out of seven turkeys very very dope so i like the strategy where you have to you like use one shotgun shot but next time i'm gonna try, try to use a machete a machete shot uh, as a pleb here so let's go over here we're gonna start one more event please tell me that big turkey is gonna spawn 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 uh, i think i started it uh, no, I didn't start it. Maybe I just failed it. So let's start it. Here we go. I think I started it. Let's go over here and the big turkey is gonna spawn. I tagged the turkey. So here we go. That worked as well. So you can use machetes here too. It's not a big deal. Here we go. Can I pick it up? I think I picked it up once. This is gonna be another one. Another one. Faster. Faster. So this is four turkeys, five turkeys. Uh, six turkeys and uh, this is gonna be seven turkeys that's it so i got another turkey and eight turkeys here once again so you can use a machete on that big turkey here as well this strategy works perfectly fine you don't have to really avoid that big turkey because sometimes your guy is just gonna aggro on that big guy so i like this strategy a little bit more because there's more to do so i'm not gonna be doing it one more time i'm gonna save it for the next time but as i said i really really like this event it's something new here wish they gave you more than three tries like maybe six tries maybe nine tries or something but now i'm thinking if i should go to this fortune teller and try to do one more event here but i mean it's whatever i think we'll be able to check out that event next time or maybe we should even do it again yeah i mean whatever let's do it
it again. Let's do it again. Let's go over here. Let's start it. Confirm. Uh, forest knowledge will help you get more oak logs. I don't care. The order of destiny has been broken. Find the missing part in limestone spires. Very nice. Let's pay her once again. And limestone cliffs. A wanderer has fallen in limestone cliffs. Be the first one to find his body. So limestone cliffs and limestone spires. So sometimes you're gonna get like two of these events. So we are done here. Everything. So goodbye this event. I think maybe in 30 minutes or something I'll be able to come here and check out like that concert here if it's even gonna appear at that time i don't know but first things first we gotta go to limestone spires and to limestone cliffs so limestone spires and these are gonna be limestone cliffs so i mean let's go to limestone cliffs let's find like that dead body i'm gonna be the first one to find it like i mean the wanderer's body let's get it she's like you know the guy died and she's like oh go loot him you, you you're so lucky to loot a dead guy like i'm like really these people are so insensitive but again they all know that probably they just respawn back at the base so who cares go and get the loot right so here we go i'm in limestone cliffs aka orange zone let's deal with a couple of these dudes uh, i'm also gonna get a couple of dusty runners like isn't that amazing like literally doing guys to jobs at the same time i don't even know if i have to loot like this broken picnic thing but i think i have to so i'm gonna loot it maybe i'll get here somehow coordinates to that dead guy but nope so i'm pretty sure that dead guy is just gonna be lying is that the guy yeah i think this is gonna be the dead wanderer i mean let's kill him and let's get oh we're gonna get here rubber aluminum a sprout sprout whatever and that's it yeah that's gonna be a sprout so that was kind of fun maybe i'll be able to get like a couple of more yeah there's gonna be one more dusty runner so i'm gonna deal with this dusty runner and i'm gonna leave this zone now back to the limestone spires because there i'll be able to again restore that order or whatever i'm gonna find that guy he's gonna give me the key and then i'll be able to open up another picnic box oh no i didn't mean to hop it's like god damn it well here we go now we are in the limestone spires so i'm gonna search again for that other guy and maybe this time i'm gonna try my best to read what he actually has to say so i read already half of the message there so i'm gonna now focus on the other part of the message if it's even gonna be again the same event because it might be even different uh this is another box do i loot this box because who knows maybe those boxes change so i'm gonna just open up this box and that's it nothing inside of that box another dusty runner oh there's this dude okay so let's talk to him really really quickly and the goods are yours i'm out of here okay so co-worker goods are yours and he's out of here let's find his co-worker imagine he doesn't even care about saving his co-worker he's like oh yeah he's dead go on loot him get his key and I'm out of this place. Wow, wow, wow. Amazing friend, amazing co-worker. I mean, he never told him that he's his friend, right? I mean, he's, uh, he was his co-worker. Maybe he hated him. He never called him a friend, so that makes sense. Sadly, though, it still cannot find, like, that co-worker. Where is he? Oh, I think it's gonna be here. Is it here or is it just bonker password? Yeah, this is just bonker password, so... There will be actually two dead bodies in this zone. Sit, cities, go to sleep, cities. And I think the body is gonna be over here. So let's touch the guy. It seems the liver guys didn't make it, blah, blah. You have found the key in his pocket. So the only thing that's left now is to find that other chest. I'm pretty sure again that this is just gonna be a simple picnic table. Not, not the picnic table, but the picnic chest. Can I take my spread shot? Uh, do I have a spread shot? Yeah, let's take a spread shot and just spread shot them like that. They're beautiful. So here we go. This is a picnic table. Is it the picnic table chest? Or is it just a simple picnic? Okay, more 50 tickets. That's it. So we've done another task here. And I think that now we're just going to prepare for a raid and we're going to do one more raid. So let's just do it. And then we'll just have enough time to keep grinding like this tournament. So let's just do a snap transition. So welcome guys to another blind raid. And blind raid means I have not done any research on this base. And for those who didn't know how to do research, go to YouTube, type LDE player 1234 or whatever base you're trying to raid and you'll be able to research that base. But Tark, you say that every time you raid. Yes, I know that I keep saying that all the time but there are still so many people who have no idea how to do research because every time i'll say i did not do research there is still somebody asking but sorry how do you do research and uh, yeah so there's gonna be like a little bit of stone walls and i think i'm just gonna use one c4 do i have yes indeed we have one c4 i'm just gonna place it over here i don't like placing it here i think that's a bad idea let's do it i should not have wasted my c4 that was a bad idea i should have used it a little bit later actually it was a great idea look at this i've gotten so many chests here bro look at this this is entire room just with these chests but before i start opening them up i want to go and chop down like a couple of those level two walls and i see there's another guy on the very top who was stuck let's deal with this floater bloater we'll go to sleep sleep floater bloater i'm gonna open up 
one of those walls. I think here we're gonna get like maybe ATV, maybe chopper or like whatever other garbage. I don't think we'll get here any chest. Yeah, just some sort of dude who doesn't even matter. So we're gonna get back here to this room and let's start opening up all of these chests. Just as always, don't judge a book by its cover. But again, it's kind of a nice base, but I don't think we're gonna get anything nice because like this saying that ju don't judge a book by its cover applies on two ways. Sometimes you're gonna get a really, really nice looking base, but you're just gonna get garbage. And uh, so far it looks like a pretty decent, okay base, but I think we're not gonna get pretty decent, okay. Okay, loot. We're just gonna get some sort of doo-doo. Whatever, let's open out now our third chest. And inside of the third chest, we're gonna get like a little bit of leather. I mean, that's okay. Not that great. Not that great. Obviously, we'd prefer something else, but at least I'll be able to fill up my inventory with at least something. At least a couple of these items. Okay, so this is gonna be one last floater bloater, and I'll go back to opening up these chests. But before I do so, wait, I think I have one more C4. I had, oh no, I love that C4 in the chopper. I've already done that out of the muscle memory. I didn't even think about putting that C4 back inside of my chopper because I probably would have exploded here another wall already. So I'm going to take a little bit of leather. I also think that I'm going to bring with me a couple of these pieces of cloth because with them you can craft bandages. And again, the reason why I'm not crafting the bandages here right now because you're going to make noise. And if you're going to leave this base and you're going to come back here once again, like if I'm just going to exit it to the minimap to, to let's say craft those bandages there, I'm still going to make about like 10 or something noise just by leaving the base. So that's why I'm not crafting those bandages right now because I have to answer this question too because there are still people saying just craft bandages. Ha ha ha. Well, it's not that easy bro so inside of this chest we're gonna get a couple of first aid kits a couple of bandages and a little bit of food i'm gonna bring all that with me a couple of berries i mean we can eat berries right berries uh, by themselves are kind of okay but the berry tea that's where i draw the line that's where i'm not gonna taste that even though i tasted it once and i regret it whatever let's open that up and here we're gonna get a couple of guns so you know what this base actually is pretty nice so even though we thought that you know what maybe it's gonna be kind of bad or something but it's pretty okay. We've gotten a couple of weapons. So I'm going to fill up this inventory with these kind of items. And should I place... Yeah, we're going to place... You know what? I don't really care that much about that electronic circuit. I'd rather place here my hatchet because I kind of care about these hatchets. I'm too lazy to craft them. So I want to save as many hatchets as I can. A couple of melee weapons, other stuff. I think I'll be even able to equip another SWAT set. I'm going to equip it after I fight that uh, one more wave of Zamzams. So let's open up one more chest. And inside of here, we're going to get literally stack of blanks let's take stack of blanks and that's it maybe stack of this yeah that's fine that's fine still not that amazing but probably gonna take it because there's nothing else to take so we're gonna do a snap transition for this wave so i kind of forgot to upgrade my glock and i had to use like that vss that i've just gotten here from this raid so whatever it's still pretty fine i still will be able to open up all of these chests and i think i'll even be able to craft a couple of bandages to show for you how we're making that noise so also uh, okay so before we go to another room i'm gonna take this and what i wanted to show for you is that even though we could go and open up a couple of benches here like I could destroy like this bench or another bench, but we're not gonna get there anything great anyways, like stack of those, what, planks or whatever. Wow, that's so great. That is so awesome. I always dre dreamt of getting stack of uh, wood. Well, this is all I've taken with me. Uh, is there anything else that I could bring? Yeah, another stack of beans, that's fine. So I'm gonna try to craft like one bandage. Look at this, guys. We're gonna craft one bandage and it makes a couple of noise, 92. We're gonna craft another one, it's 97. So per one bandage, you're getting five noise. And if I'm gonna now exit this base, I'm gonna make some more noise. So now literally, just for the sake of education, as soon as I'm gonna load in here, I'm gonna go back and we had only 97 noise. Look at this, we're gonna come back. Now it's gonna be at 100. Please tell me we're gonna load in quicker, load in. Here we go, we just load in and it's at 100 already. The big one have already spawned here in this place. I just wanna show for you that the big one is here. Here we go guys where's the big one where here we go there is the big one so the big one is here at this base and just as i said that's why i don't exit this place to craft like a couple of bandages there because i'm just gonna waste noise i'd rather open up more chests rather than like craft stack of bandages or something but now we can definitely craft those bandages so we've just done that right and while we are waiting for the tournament to end let's talk a little bit about some new sneak peeks and boom as you can see this is going to be a new workbench and there is a lot of speculations that could be made about this workbench so first things first we do not even know if this workbench is gonna be in sector seven or it's gonna be here in our like single player location and now there are some other speculations what this workbench is actually going to do so it looks like this workbench is gonna make wires into bars or it's gonna be the opposite maybe it's actually gonna turn bars into wires which i don't think that's gonna be the case i think you will actually turn wires into bars and it's either we'll be making like aluminum bars here like from these aluminum wires into aluminum bars because we already have like those aluminum wires in the game and they 
they kind of look like aluminum wire thingies so maybe we're gonna be able to make like aluminum wires without smelting them just on this bench or actually this is going to be a completely new bench where we'll be able to get our titanium bars because these bars do not look like aluminum bars or maybe they were just drawn here differently because why not this is just like a simple sketch but I'm really hoping that this is not something just like aluminum bar machine where you can like transfer your aluminum wires into aluminum bars because what's the point right I don't think lots of players have troubles with getting aluminum like already but who knows maybe beginners have troubled with getting aluminum but I mean you don't really require that much aluminum in the first place and I mean just do like one bunker alpha or whatever and you're gonna get a couple of bars of that aluminum so I don't think aluminum is the problem so I would assume and I would really really hope that this is gonna be finally the introduction of titanium again where we'll be able to get like those titanium wires if these are gonna be titanium wires I have no no idea maybe swamp location finally is gonna be useful because when we go to the swamp location here it's kind of useless at this point because you can only get like what ash logs to upgrade your trunks to another level and that's it other than that swamp location is useless I mean you can craft a couple of like anti-red pills or something for your bunker bravo but after you unlock your swamp location it's useless so maybe that titanium is gonna come in the swamp location or maybe that's not even titanium workbench so what do you think guys is that gonna be titanium workbench or that's something else and I just noticed that we are now on the fifth spot like look at these guys they started pushing like they think they can over push me like I'm gonna try to do like this boom once and we're gonna try to repeat here one more time <laughs> that is terrible this is horrible I have 44 points right now well look at that ultima world how about this huh how about <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't have done that, but it's so fun. I mean, even though these are just bots, like, but it's still, it's fun to bully those bots. Why not? So I'm just gonna wait. There's no way they're gonna overrun me. And as I said, I didn't almost even play like in that red location. Like it would be still pretty easy. I think even in two minutes, I'd be able to kill. Or maybe I wouldn't be able to kill like 10 of those zombies. So I didn't want to really risk it now, you know, to run to that red location to grind there a little bit. And that's it. Because I think when there were like 10 minutes left or something, these guys only had like what, 10 points or whatever. So it didn't really look like they're gonna get like that many points. So look at this. They started getting like these points really, really quickly, just in the last second or whatever. Not in the last second, but in the last couple of minutes. So that's what I was always talking about. Whenever they're going to be like uh, one minute left or something, they're going to push really, really hard. And chances are they'll even have to auto farm another red zone. Because look at this, that Ultima World, Ultima World keeps pushing. He has 36 points. He's like only eight points away from me. I don't think in the last like couple of seconds, he's going to start getting any more points. I don't think they're getting points when there's like one minute left. Oh no, he actually got in another point 37 now wow well two seconds one seconds and that's it done baby done two seconds zero seconds one seconds so we took guys the first place very nice let's take all of these rewards here and i think this was one of the toughest tournaments that i've done so far but at the same time i almost didn't grind like what i've done like two maybe red zones and that's it so i didn't really even try so it's still not that big of a deal i think if there were like 10 20 minutes left i would have definitely gotten more points without like that auto farming but i just didn't want to give up my spot so i highly suggest you check it out my among trees video or click on the second card and you'll go to my the log dark let's play or hop over to my channel go to playlist and there you'll find a lot of other games that i played here on the channel if not subscribed yet definitely be sure to drop the subscribe button and notification bell to not miss any future videos and consider following me on instagram or twitter at epicyric mm -hmm. yep